Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In this video, I'm going to tell you a few things that you need to know when you want to describe a graph in the exam. When there is only one line in the graph, firstly, you need to make a general statement for the graph. Your general statement should give an overall idea of how the x and y axis change in the graph. For example, as x increases, y increases. As x increases, y decreases. Changes in x do not lead to great change in y. As x increases, y increases up to a certain extent, then it starts to decrease. As x increases, y fluctuates. After the general statement, split the graph into several parts based on its pattern. For example, in this graph, I will separate it into three parts. The slow increase, then the rapid increase, and lastly, the constant part. Now, you can describe each part in your answer by quoting in the data. Use words such as slowly, gradually, sharply, drastically to show the reason why you split the increasing parts into two. For my example, the general statement will be, as temperature increases, number of cell bursts increases. Then, the description will be, as temperature increases from 0 to 30 degrees Celsius, Number of cell bursts increases gradually from 1 to 2. Note that you have to quote in the data from both axes. Next, as the temperature increases from 30 to 60 degrees Celsius, the number of cell bursts increases drastically from 5 to 40. Further increase of temperature from 60 degrees Celsius does not change the number of cell bursts. It remains constant at 40. You can also include some manipulative figures. It means that you do some calculations yourself and include them in your answer. For example, in the first description just now, I could say that the number of cell bursts double as the temperature increases from 0 to 30 degrees Celsius. You can calculate the percentage or just find the difference or mention how many times it is higher or lower than before. There's no right or wrong ways as long as you calculate it correctly. Lastly, Notice if there's any anomalous data in the graph and mention it to show that there's a point that doesn't follow the general trend. Usually, if there's more than one line in the graph, the question will not just ask you to describe them. It normally will ask you to compare them. The first thing you have to do is to look for the similarities and make general statements which are true for both of them. For example, both increase or decrease as the x-axis increases both fluctuate over time. They have the same starting point, their peaks have the same height, and so on. Then, you can start to look for the differences based on a few aspects. Number 1. The start and end point. State which one is higher and quote in the data. Make some calculations on how much one is higher than the other. Number 2. Compare the steepness of the graph. If one is increasing more drastically than the other, Mention that and quote in the data. For example, as x increases from 1 to 3, b increases from 1 to 4, but a increases greatly from 1 to 8. Number 3, if the two lines intersect at some point, talk about the changeover point. In this example, you can say that a is higher than b in the beginning, but at point x1, b becomes higher than a. Number 4, if the graphs become constant, Compare which one enter the phase first. In my example, A becomes constant earlier than B by 4 hours. Number 5. Compare the peaks or the lowest points. You can quote in the value of the peaks or mention which one reached the peaks first. Remember to calculate the difference between the two peaks and quote in the value. Number 6. Compare the range. Sometimes the two lines show different range on one of the axes. In this example, Enzyme B is active in a wider range of pH than enzyme A. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook. Thank you and see you again soon.